I was asked to create a Shine tutorial, so we're going to do that. Start with a new file, 256 by 256. Okay. Layer Transparency, Alpha Channel. Click and press the Delete button on your keyboard. Simple. No? Mm. On this, I already have it pre-selected. It's a star. I will. It's a brush that I will give you the link for the brush on the description. And here we go. Click once. Hold down the shift button, and make sure your line is straight because you don't want a lopsided shine. Or do you? Do 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 do. Actually, the up and down crazy shines are for the more advanced ones that I am not yet. Um. Look over the noise in the background. I have family, don't we all? Gaussian blur, six, I like six. Five to seven is my general range when making these. Okay, so we're gonna go with six. Da 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 da. Right click, new layer. See how it's all weird like that? That's okay, we'll fix that. New layer, transparency. Put this a little bit under it. And make sure your line is straight again. Click it there. Filters, blur motion blur. Make sure your angle is set at 90. Your length can be whatever you want, but I tell you now, the less length, the more spiky. The more length, the less spiky. And... I do it under it because I don't like it when I do it over it. Because it gets confusing. Confusing is not good. I'm going to stick with 32. Mm -hmm. Right click, edit, copy, and CTRL and V pastes it. You want to move this up a little so it makes the top part spiky as well. And you have this, and you anchor down. Do you need this anymore? It's up to you. Without this first layer, it's a little bit less, but it's also harder to do when you want to overlay it. So, let's experiment. Alright, new layer. Make it a color. White, black, it doesn't matter. Colors don't matter. I prefer black, though, because it's easier to see against the whiteness of the shiny shine shine. Gradient. This little button right here. Blend tool. Fill select the area with the color gradient. Make sure your mode is in difference. Difference, difference, difference. This is just a, like, sample fake hair that we're doing just to see. I'm going to go ahead and go with shadows since it's the one that's up there. Ba-doom, 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 ba-doom. Uh-oh, that one looks too. There we go. Ah! What is it with me? I keep making mistakes. That's okay, though. See? There we go. Now this we have overlay, and this we have overlay. Do you want it with or without? that is without the middle. You can see the slight shine right there. And this is with the middle. And you can see there's definitely more whoomph. I like it both ways, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and merge the top shine down to the bottom. Eek! Down to the bottom shine. Actually, we're going to delete this layer before we do this. Ba -bum -ba -bum. Normal. Normal. Merge down. There you go. Okay. Save it as whatever you like. We saw it on a sample hair. Um, simple, quick, easy. There you go. We are done.